Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. How are you doing tonight? This is a after work video that I've been making. So basically what I've been doing is I've been working on those tools, the hand tools from the video where I want to build the garage. It's uh, somewhere in my YouTube video library on this channel. But basically I started with those Ravel hand tools that were on the little tiny parts tree. And uh, those are from the 1953 and 1954 Chevrolet. One of them's a panel van and the other one is a two-door coupe or whatever. And they're a really brittle. So my question is, what happens if you break one of those tools? Which I've broken a few because they're like paper thin. They're in that true scale, just like the Ed Big Daddy Roth kits were. And they are fragile. So... I actually broke a tool or two, one of them being the little screwdriver. And uh, I was looking through the Dykes Encyclopedia at some of the tool sets that they have in here for real mechanics back in 1928. And I found something really cool and I've adapted the screwdriver into that. So without further ado, let's go down to the bench and see what I did to make a brand new tool. As I was cleaning up the screwdrivers from the 1954 Ravel Chevrolet kit, I accidentally broke off one of the tips of the screwdrivers. So I was looking through the Dykes Encyclopedia and I found these illustrations here. And this is for a speeder, what they call a speeder. And basically it is a socket driver. So here's all the sockets. Look at this, it's from Snap-on. So that's how old Snap-on is. This book is from 1926. But at any rate, I took a brass rod like this one and I took my pliers, these are the special square type ones, and I bent around this brass wire to take it or make it into the speeder here. Now I don't have any sockets, but I was kind of thinking of making those maybe out of some evergreen styrene rod and just drill a piece of rod, stick it on the end of the brass here, and then uh, cut it short, you know, so it's like a socket on the end. But there's the handle for the screwdriver. What I did is I filed it flat toward the end. And I also filed the rod here flat. And I just crazy glued the handle onto the end of the rod. And it really does make the perfect speeder. Now when I bent this rod, I also had to bend it flat at the end again because it was quite twisted. But, you know, take a look at that. That's a great mirror for that. Now this illustration was not drawn intentionally by any means in 125th scale, but it just happened to work out that way because uh, what I did is I just judged it from the handle of the screwdriver and sure enough it looks correct. So I did kind of luck out in this regard that this would be done up in 125th scale and all I need to do is really just take the wire and bend in these shapes as I see fit. Another tool that I had to fix were these little snippers and the handle here was broken off, and you can see this little tiny bit of red right there. What that is, is it's a wire from this alternator coil that I picked up way back when in high school, back in the 1990s. I was taking uh, mechanics courses at high school, and that spool was in the junk, so I asked the teacher if I could have it, and he said, sure. Okay, so there you can see the snippers a little bit better. I uh, was far back so I could get the wire in. But what I did is I just cut a little piece of wire off. Actually, I had it longer. And I crazy glued right in here. And I just laid that wire right on the spot. And uh, that ended up holding in place. And all I need to do now is just take a hobby file and just see where it's sticking out and file that a bit round and I will have the proper handles for the snippers. Here's our hand tools after applying a little bit of the Molotol chrome pen. And you can see that the brass rod now looks like chrome. This was the screwdriver that I started with right here. And you can see just how short and tiny this thing is. It was really fragile and that's where I broke off that tip. It was really hard to cut out of that Ravel parts tree. And these Ravel tools, they are super, super thin, and I've broken a couple of the wrenches, and there is no way I can get those back together. I did try gluing them, but then you got a big glue blob right in the middle, and <laughs> as soon as you go to clean that up, you just break it again. I did find out that this is actually a ratchet. I thought it was a screwdriver, but then when I looked at it a little closer up, 
there's a little pinpoint right here where my uh, red arrow pointer is and that is a socket drive so there's a ratchet on there which I don't think is in any other set now here's the snips and as you can see with the multiple pen you can't even tell where that red wire is I left the end yellow that's where the clip was I will have to paint it like I did with this one but this one has also got the wire in it because that loop was broken and in that case I bent the wire in a little bit of a curve before gluing it on and uh, it ends up looking quite nice now again these are really tiny here's the tip of my finger for reference and you can see just how small they are so make sure you don't sneeze when you have these parts otherwise you might just blow them all away well i hope you enjoyed that video where i got to show you how i fix some of the broken tools from that little ravel tool casting and I hope you found these illustrations in the Dykes Encyclopedia rather interesting on all the different socket drivers that they had back in the day. The hand cranked versions, which are really interesting. And if any of you have found any of those in your old tool sets or at auctions or something, let me know down in the comments below. So if you would like to support this channel and help me out, click that join button. Should be down there somewhere, you know, in the menu if you're watching this from PC. I don't know if it's there on a mobile phone. I don't have one. But at any rate, click that join button and you can help us out to grow this channel. So until next time, everybody, keep your tools sharp. Try not to break them. And if you do, look for alternative tools that you could create to change those into. Actually, I could have just made another screwdriver by taking that brass rod and gluing it onto the end of the handle and then cutting it off at an angle. But I have like 12 screwdrivers from all those little things, so I figured that the socket driver would be something more cool and more unique that I don't know if anybody else out there has. So until next time, everybody, happy model building, and we'll see you in the next video.